Hey, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the buffalo plaid pattern in Photoshop. This pattern utilizes a diagonal stripe pattern uh, within the uh, buffalo plaid pattern. So we'll go ahead and create the uh, stripe pattern first. So let's go ahead and create new. And then we are going to use the dimensions of 40 pixels by 40 pixels resolution 300 pixels per inch color mode is rgb color and our background contents are going to be set to transparent go ahead and click on create from here we'll zoom in uh, command plus key okay and then we are going to use the line tool so over here under the shapes you're going to select the line tool starting in the uh, bottom corner hitting the uh, shift key and selecting and drawing across and that will just give you the 45 degree angle here we will uh, adjust our stroke here so there's no fill stroke is black and then we're going to change our stroke to uh, 10 pixels we'll zoom out just a little bit here uh, under view you're going to change to uh, pattern preview and that will create the uh, seamless repeat here at the corners so we'll go ahead and edit define pattern and give your pattern a name and click on ok from here you can exit the pattern preview mode and then uh, we are going to create a new document so let's go to file new this time we are going to use the uh, dimensions of 600 pixels by 600 pixels, resolution 300 pixels per inch, RGB color mode, uh, background content set to transparent, and then click create. First off, we are going to add a pattern adjustment layer. From the layers panel, I'm gonna click on the adjustment layers here and select pattern. Clicking OK, and then we will select our newly created uh, pattern here. Uh, from here, I'm going to go ahead and rasterize this layer. And then we'll make a duplicate. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn those off for now. Uh, next, we are going to create a rectangle. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new layer here. And then we're gonna to go to uh, the marquee tool and then uh, make sure style is um, set on fixed size. We're gonna have a width of 300 pixels and a height of 600 pixels. Go ahead and click on the canvas there and then you'll see uh, the outline of the selection and then with the um, color contents your foreground selected as black we're going to go option delete or alt backspace for a pc i'm going to go ahead and deselect that command d and then a v for the move tool and then we are going to align it to our canvas so we'll do a uh, center it horizontally and vertically here and then I'm going to uh, duplicate this layer from the layers panel, right click, duplicate layer, clicking on OK. And then we're gonna go to edit, transform, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. So let's turn on our two layers here. So starting uh, with this first copy, we'll bring it to the top here. Um, on this layer, you're gonna select it and then you're going to um, command click on the image and it will select around that rectangle. We're then going to select on the pattern fill layer. You wanna make sure the marquee tool is selected. You can either click here or you can use M on the keyboard. And then from here, we're going to right click and then we're gonna do new layer via cut. We will go ahead and delete the excess here and then you can uh, turn off that layer there. And then we're gonna go, let's bring this one above here, and then we'll go and click on this layer, command click to highlight it. We'll select this new pattern layer, still with the marquee tool selected, we will right click and then new layer via cut. We will add delete the excess, and then you can uh, clear that there. So we'll bring these ones to the top and then next we are going to uh, create a square. So we'll go to uh, the square tool here, just clicking on the canvas. We are wanting, um, since our dimensions were 600 pixels by 600 pixels, we are going to um, do 300 pixels by 300 pixels to, for our square. And then currently I have a stroke set, so I'm gonna set my fill to black and then my stroke to none. 
And then with that selected, I'm gonna to go to the Move Tool V, and then we are going to center it um, horizontally and vertically to our canvas here. So now we have the uh, basis of our buffalo plaid pattern. You can go to View, Pattern Preview, and then you'll see a larger scale version um, just to check to make sure that it is seamless here. And then we'll go to Edit, Define Pattern, clicking on OK. And then uh, you can exit the pattern preview mode here. And then let's go ahead and create a new document to uh, test out our pattern. We'll go to File, New. Uh, this time I'm gonna use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper, 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels with a resolution 300 pixels per inch, RGB color mode. And this time I'll have my background content set to white. Go ahead and create that there. We'll move this to this side. And then uh, we are going to create a, first off, get a solid color adjustment layer. And then we'll add a, a pattern adjustment layer here. And then here, let's select our uh, new pattern. And then uh, finally, we will do a, another solid color adjustment layer. Uh, this time, let's uh, choose a red color. And then uh, let's create a clipping mask. And then you have it. There you have your uh, buffalo plaid pattern using red and black. You could always change out the colors if you want it to be white in the background. Um, I definitely love the look of the red and black um, color here, but you could also try like a blue, a different color. You could try pink. Um, definitely can have fun changing out the colors here um, for your uh, design. So if you want to um, save this as digital scrapbook paper, um, before we do that, let's just talk about, you could always click on your pattern here. If you want to um, adjust the scale, maybe we bring it down a little bit to make it a little bit smaller. Um, if you feel like you want to orient it a little bit different, maybe you want the reds in the corner versus the black, you could always move it around um, when this dialog box is open. And then um, if you want it back to the original, just click on Snap to Origin, and then you can click on OK. Uh, once you have the design the way you like it, we will um, export it as digital scrapbook paper. So we'll go to uh, File, Export As. And then here you can change the format if you want PNG, JPEG, uh, GIF. I will keep it as JPEG. And then typically for digital scrapbook paper, you are... Um, wanting just kind of a higher quality so you can set it as the highest and then just you can choose to embed the color profile here and then click export. Thank you for watching this video on how to create the uh, buffalo plaid pattern in Adobe Photoshop. If you like this video uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. You can check out more of my tutorials over at lemonpaperlab.com. In the description below, I will leave a link to my Etsy shop where I sell digital paper packs. Thanks for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.